What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm bringing you another World of Warcraft gold farm. And now, today's gold farm is just as exciting as yesterday's gold farm. Maybe a little bit less because all items only worth around 200,000, 300,000 gold, but, you know, it's still a very good farm. So, if you guys don't know, in patch 8.0, all the rare unobtainable items that got removed in Cataclysm are now back in the game and they are dropping again. So what this means is all the mobs that had items removed from them in, Catacl or in Cataclysm from their loot tables, you can actually go get them now. Since people haven't seen these in forever, they're paying tons upon tons upon tons of gold for it and they are so easy to get. Yesterday we covered um, the Chromatic Sword. Uh, which is arguably quite harder to get. I mean, it is an item that's going for about 6 million now on uh, servers. But this this farm will definitely be much easier. I doubt you'll have nearly as much competition doing this one. So we're going to go ahead and I'll show you where I'm at. I'm currently in Elwyn Forest in the Eastern Kingdoms, which is super easy to get to if you're Alliance, if you're Horde. I am so sorry, you're going to have to like stealth through here or something. But what we do is we go to this cave right here and inside this cave uh, there is a mob that drops an item called the brood mother carapace now the brood mother carapace actually uh, sells for around 200,000 ish gold on any given server right now but I've actually seen it up to about I think Honestly, realistically, I've seen it up to about 300,000 gold uh, as the highest I've ever seen it listed. Uh, on my server, the last it was listed for was about 150,000 gold, which is, I mean, that's quite good. Take it with, you know, what you will. Um, but yeah, that that's actually what mine was listed at, and uh, there are currently none on the auction house anymore, so it actually sold. So you can see, our mob isn't here, so we are going to wait because it looks like someone else had killed her. So, the interesting part about this mob is the fact that the respawn timer is actually quite a bit long. Uh, the respawn timer is actually anywhere from, people have seen anywhere from 25 minutes to an hour or maybe an hour and a half. Uh, it's not exactly confirmed as to how long the respawn timer actually is, uh, just so you know, but she does spawn right here. And really all you're going to do is just wait here and then spawn. Bam, splash, target mob, and then slash cast. So really, all you're going to want to do is be sitting here and just going with whatever key you assigned uh, your macro to. Obviously, I hope it's not enter. I, I'd hope so. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's really it to this farm. Uh, there's not really a whole lot you can do uh, other than just kind of wait it out. It's a shame we don't have server hop still or else then these will be crazy OP, but this is really the best you can do right now. So I'm going to cut the video now and we are going to explain the best way to get rid of this item on the auction house and all that good extra stuff and extra stuff you might want to know about extra videos that might have hidden things coming in them and that you should probably stay tuned to listen for. So right now I'm going to cut the video and uh, yeah make sure you check out the links in the description below before I do and we'll see you there. Alright everybody, we're back after that cut, and uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and show you the price of one on my server currently, because I think someone actually just posted one. I'm going to look here. Oh, I guess it actually just sold, wow. So they just put it up there and it just sold, I literally just looked it up for a video. Okay, well, anyways, it was selling for 200k on my server just a second ago. Uh, but someone bought it off, so you can kind of see how uh, quick and um, easy these farms are to make just a ton of gold very, very, very quickly if you actually are to get one of these items to drop. Now, if you are still here and wondering probably the best way to get rid of it on the auction house, first of all, best way to get rid of it, undercut by one copper and then keep doing that and only undercut by one copper and try to keep the market up for as long as you can while you have one because that's really like the most you can do. If you undercut by a ton you're gonna get screwed. Um, and the people that do undercut by a ton they're gonna make their money quick to begin with but everybody else is gonna get screwed so remember that if you are going to undercut it and screw everyone else 
I, it does work, so just so you know. I mean, I don't want to give you some, like, mean tips, but this is, you know, this is what happens uh, when we get these kind of farms. And uh, also, there is another farm with another unobtainable loot uh, that has returned to the game, and I'm going to make a video on it tonight. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a head start on it, so if you are watching now, you need to go to the Mirror Lake Orchard, and you need to go to the house, and you need to kill the rare mob that spawns inside the house and you have a chance at getting a very very expensive item so remember if you stay tuned after these videos you get special tips like that and uh... that's really it um... that's all the kind of like tips and advice i can give on you other than just like undercut slowly don't do giant undercuts because you're gonna screw the market and everybody's gonna lose money on this it's gonna suck but it is a great thing right now while we're in the infancy so if you're watching this video now you need to go do this farm now before the prices keep dropping. So I definitely recommend you keep doing it over and over and over again until you actually get one of these items because it's a quick way to bag another 100k gold. And it is literally all I have been doing nonstop for the past day <laughs> well, and night. And I actually have to work today too. So hopefully we'll get this video out before then. Then I'll have another one after work. And ooh, keeping up with all this is kind of stressful. But you know what? You guys are worth it. And uh, I thank every single one of you who have liked, commented, subscribed. Um, you guys mean the world to me, and you guys are making my dreams come true, man. Like, you guys you, you guys are making this a reality for me, and it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. I, I can't believe it. Um, also, make sure you check out the links in the description. I've got all my computer specs down there. If that interests you, you could check there. I've also got a link to buy Battle for Azeroth in the description below, uh, so you don't need to go all the way to Blizzard's website. It's also the cheapest on the internet, guaranteed price right there so i mean yeah and anyways guys it's king kunta and i will see you all in the next video peace